Hello, this is Marcel from EasyWorks and with this video we're going to show you how simple it is to integrate LabVIEW with our MES application. Uh, first, uh, we're going to import our web service into LabVIEW and we're going to do that with tools, import and then web service. Uh, this dialog is asking you for the Vistal file, so um, we're just going to open our application. And we're going to take the URL with the Wistel file. So we're going to copy this uh, URL and paste it into the LabVIEW dialog. Uh, this is authentication information. We not uh, need it because each call is authenticated by itself. Um, so we continue. We're going to overwrite the existing project. We're going to uncheck all the different API calls because uh, for this example we're just going to focus on a single API call and that's the NPR update NVR. So we're going to select that one and then we're going to move to the next step. And now uh, LabVIEW created the wrappers. So we can start creating a block diagram. So we'll just start a new VI file. Uh, this is the front panel. Uh, we're not going to use much from the front panel. And this is the block diagram. And in the block diagram we just can uh, click with the right mouse cl uh, button. Then on the user libraries. And then we're going to select the web service. And then the easy web service. And then we're going to pin this. Uh, you can see that beside the call that I selected uh, LabVIEW created two other calls and that's uh, one to first open the web service then we're gonna add in our call the next one and the last one is to close the web service so, so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, to connect all the inputs so we just gonna create a constant and this uh, input will be for the name of the variable we the, of the data entry we want to write to. So next uh, input is what we call the path key. Uh, the path key is uh, for the authentication. So and let's add a label on that one as well. Um, the next one is um, the user, and this is this can be your user account, or you can make a special system account so that you can know uh, so that you know what is coming from the system. Uh, the next one is the unique ID of the part that you are writing to. So this can be like the serial number and then the system will know where the data has to be written to. And the next uh, one is the last input and that's uh, the actual value you want to write. So these are the inputs. Uh, the only thing we have to connect is the output and we're going to make an indicator and that one is appearing on the front panel and we'll just resize it. So now we have to get in the actual values. Um, so what we're going to do is we go to the MES application. Uh, we're going to log in. And the first thing uh, you can see I uh, logged in as Marcel. That's the same name that we're going to use here so as the username. Then this, uh, uh, lab, um, the input is the pass key and the pass key we can just get from the user dialog. And we press the new pass key and we just copy this pass key and paste it into this input. 
So the next one is um, um, the uh, unique ID, the name, and the data entry. And to better know what we are writing to, we'll just open up a traveler. And the traveler is uh, in the MES, it's the object that is carrying the parts and is creating the data entries. So in this case, you can see there are two parts on it. One has a um, serial number of SN001 and the other one SN002. And we have like a an, uh, an text input that we want to address through uh, lab view. And that's uh, the name that we're going to use here as well. So lab view text input. And now we can enter the uh, UID. So that's the serial number. So we're going to put right to the first part. And now let's see if we can write hello to that part. Um, I like this feature. It just uh, slows it down a bit. And then you can see how it executes. So we're now basically done. And let's see if we can write hello to the first part. So you can see um, the call executing. Here you can see that uh, the error code is zero. That means no errors uh, um, occurred. Currently it's being written to the server and uh, the client, which is a browser, takes a little bit more time. But you can see that hello is now written here. So you can see yeah, how easy this was. So if we want to write to the second part, uh, we're just going to change the serial number. And, uh, and we're going to add a new message. And now we can just uh, press this again. And now that uh, value is written to the second part. It's already written on the server. And now you can see it appearing here in the user interface of the browser. Uh, if we want to go to um, number input instead of the text input. So, and we'll just put in a number here. And we're going to execute again. So you can see how easy it is. Uh, this is all um, described in more detail on our help pages. So just go to help.easyworks.com and type in LabView in the search dialog and you will get to the appropriate uh, help pages. Um, thank you for listening and uh, see you with the next demo. Bye bye.